Ladies and gentlemen, this week's episode of the Mud Blood Podcast is brought to you, as always, by our friends at Hinch Distillery. They are a local whiskey for local people, or if you're a bit more abroad, for you also. They're absolutely delicious, like we always have on display here, this lovely Madeira whiskey made in a Madeira cask. What does that mean? Paddy's told me five times, can't remember. But check out Hinch Distillery. They're a great whiskey. I'm a, I'm a big whiskey guy myself. I'm a big fan of them. Check it out. We're also sponsored, as we have been for three years, you know what I'm going to say, by Manscaped. Shave your balls. They've got the new Lawnmower 4.0, the best in cutting dick technology. You want to get that shaft? Do you want to? Do you want to be hurry shaft for the summer? Yes. You do? Then you don't use this. Okay. But if you don't want the hurry shaft, if you don't want to be like, oh, we freak, okay. then you use Manscaped and we can help you. How can we help you, Sean? I don't know. You don't know? No. You don't know. You've sat there in the corner, you don't know. I'm you go on to manscaped.com, you okay. use the code MUDBLOOD. It gotcha. gets you 20% off. Oh. 20% off your order. You get the lawnmower. You get the wee ball trimmer. You get the ball deodorant. You get the ball lotion. You'll have a ball. You'll have, you might even have two. They're absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Manscaped.com. Enjoy this week's episode. And I'm joined today by the wonderful Miss Jasmine Sierra. I didn't leave enough of a pause there at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant to and, and I didn't. Uh, yes, we're joined by the wonderful Miss Jasmine Sierra. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm all got fucking stressed out, but I'm stressed. grand. Yeah. Stressed. Don't live with old people. Bless them. Oh, I am old people. You are old people. I am old people. Reminds me of a boy in school and we did the... <laughs> it's ridiculous. We did our yearbook <laughs> at the end of the year. Uh, and the way you had to do a yearbook quote. Do you remember what yours was? Like for your senior year? No. Yeah. I don't, I couldn't tell you. I can't remember. can't remember what mine was either, but I do remember this one kid. He was a few years younger than us. Yeah. I think he was a bit on the spectrum. And his name was like Richard Wilson. And his yearbook quote was just, I am Richard Wilson. <laughs> and I was like, that's fucking poetry. I that's like a it. statement. That's like a, like a, mm. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I am Richard Wilson. Where I is he it. now? What's he doing now? Don't know, might be dead. But the yearbook quote lives on. I still have it in my house. Oh, I just yours? I can't remember. I I I so like I was gonna say he who box ugly box often, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> they, it was no way they put that in your uh, school yearbook. It was something like that. <laughs> if it would have been in the round, like they wouldn't let me say buck, but it was like he who proves off ugly. We never he, what, he who box ugly box? No, ugly? we never like wrote in our like yearbook. You never got a yearbook? No. Oh. What? You only got it when you joined in first year. Right. And then you could pay for it. Like, you know, halfway for and it wasn't like a yearbook at the end of the year. It was like it was at the start of the year. Yeah. Here's what we've got it, here's what we've got on this term. Yeah. So like a, a It was shit and everybody's like, Oh, do you want to pay thirty quid for this? To see photos the first years and you're like no <laughs> <laughs> one tax teacher being like I'll take seven there's <laughs> always a tax teacher was a nonce yeah <laughs> always all the history teachers were my PE teachers I know that your PE teachers were history teachers yeah good crossover but that too yeah. Yeah. mine's were all geography teachers mm. yeah yeah Did, what, what don't say his name but what uh, position in the school was your school pedo uh, physics <laughs> physics yeah ours was physics also yeah. Oh, he was a fucking creep too, yeah. Yeah. Ours was a Spanish teacher that wasn't Spanish. You don't have to be. I know, but it, just, it doesn't feel like it's real. <laughs> it's Do you think you have to? It's just a Spanish dude? It was just like, he had a whole accent and everything, but he grew up in Kentucky. Was it a, a hybrid of Spanish and Kentucky? No, he had like a full on Spanish accent. Oh, like, I don't eat that, my Yeah, but yeah. he grew up in Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, we had that too, but ours was <laughs> thick East Belfast, switched in the Barcelona. So it'd be like, oh, Don de Efe is that blah, blah, blah. Davison, fucking sit down the back. Oh, let me come with that. That was ours. <laughs> but it would just drop in and out. That's cool. Oh, I just American, because for those who haven't picked up on it, jazz is American. How does American school work? Because we go seven years. We go primary school, seven years. Upper school, seven years or five. And then in the uni, how does America work? Because obviously, so, like middle school and junior. Right. So we have elementary, which would be like your primary. 
So we have kindergarten to fifth grade. So it's about age five to about age 11, 10, 11. Right. Then you have middle school, which is, there's three years. Yeah. And so that's from age 12 to about 14, 13. Yeah. Then you have high school, four years. Right. Okay. And then you go to the university. Are those schools connected? So it would be like, say, like Jefferson Middle School, have a Jefferson High School? Not always. Some some schools did. It was different depending on where you live. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I think that is a better system because we just go, you're 12, get a bus with an 18-year-old fully grown man. <laughs> yeah, and where, like, where I was concerned, fucking try and play football yeah. on the same pitch as like an 18-year-old yeah. who's I mean, going to throw you down a hill. I'm out of shape, 18-year-old, by 20 stone. <laughs> and they're like, tackle him? No. Who's driving the school? Yeah. <laughs> Shaving in the toilets at, at break time. Uh, that's, my dad would always Smoke be like, split. Yeah, they'd be like, hey, if they hit you, hit them back. And he's a he's a fool man. He isn't. A, he's a grown man who I think has a child. I used to do um, track and field. Mm-hmm. I did shot put. I was terrible, but it was just to be conditioned for wrestling. And You're a wrestler? I was a wrestler. State champ, 2011. Holy shit, really? Oh, yeah, Google me. <laughs> and then well had a different last name but yes and then um i remember we used to go against this other school that was like like mine was like the hood but then the more hood school yeah they were like amazonian women they were like six feet tall <laughs> just like solid black girls yeah and i'm like yeah i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna win this we had rugby as well yeah rugby, rugby <gasps> which is not a sport you should be playing when do when puberty hits you differently yeah. So you haven't even got fucking hers on your bollocks yet, and you're going up against <laughs> a 30 stone behemoth. Oh. Like every rugby team had a guy who would get off the bus last, and when he got off at the bus, would like move back into position because he was just this big, oh. like just releasing the Kraken. And he was always just, especially in like first, second, and third year, if you had puberty early and you were tall and you had a bit of weight about you, yeah. you were just crushing motherfuckers, man. Just hitting clotheslines from hell on a rugby pitch. You gotta do what you gotta do. I would love to watch that. I think rugby is like my favorite sport to watch since I moved here. You, you just like big beefy boy. You do like and a beefy the, boy. And the short shorts. Y- yeah. Uh, the roughest sport in the gay shorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you love beefy boys though, yeah? I do love a beefy boy. <laughs> like a wide set man. Yeah. 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 But seeing the wrestling team, was it all women or was it mixed? Like, I didn't think you competed against men, but in the team. So I wrestled for both teams. We had a boys and a girls team. Are you telling me you're bisexual? <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, with the boys, they had to decide whether or not they would accept to fight me. And if, right. most of the time they did. But the problem was, so let's say like I, somebody accidentally got hit in the face and you're bleeding, you get blood time. But what we had to do is if somebody got a boner while we were wrestling, we would give them blood time and we would have to wait like 10 minutes for their boner to go down <laughs> so that we can keep wrestling. Why is it against the rules to wrestle with a boner? Because it's very revealing. Look, because you're in spandex. <laughs> I imagine like the VAR. <laughs> no, they're like video review, like going, oh shit, no, I can, I can see a semi. <laughs> Nothing would scare me seeing my opponent and I'm getting ready to wrestle and he's just full masked. <laughs> like it's just stretching through that'd be scary I wasn't scared you were, you were, you were like fuck the blood I'll wrestle him now let's go <laughs> throw down big man uh, now, have the, now have to wrestle a man on a sea monster <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's the first three legs he's sweeping me with uh, who calls the blood that do you have to spot the boner or does he have to be the ref you have him in a headlock <laughs> the ref the ref <laughs> boner champ <laughs> And it's like fifteen year old boys, and so the ref is like, oh, "That boy's got something." Refer- like referee's your physics teacher with a wee thin mustache. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> really passionate about the wrestling. The spotter. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! Uh, so the re- the ref has the you la- the yeah you you've got a hard on yeah the fact that they have to acknowledge that too, like. Does it come up on the screen and like graphics? No, no, no. <laughs> it's three minute rounds though, so like you have to stop to let like you know. See if I was losing, like I was like in a camera or something, I'd just be like, fuck come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we must really yeah, yeah, I'm like trying to stop. Break. Yeah, I'd, I'd be in a chokehold and be stiff as shit. Yeah, you're thinking of like the most erotic thing possible <laughs> in your head. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, God. that's a semi at least. Give me thirty seconds off. <laughs> Like, the rats like down like on his hunkers like <laughs> right in front of your dick like, trying to go no not hard enough for me They're checking the pressure over the lads stay in them so state champ state champ yep and the, I was about to say you have a finishing move it's not that kind of wrestling no it's not that kind of wrestling I remember I think what happened is we ended up practicing way more so the girls team eventually dwindled down to me and one girl uh huh and so whenever we would fight full teams of girls they'd be like oh are you gonna forfeit and we'd like would say no would you be willing to let me do all the heavy people and she'd do all the light people so i would wrestle everyone 160 up to 285 pounds what's that in stone uh well se- about seven stone is a hundred so it'd be about over 14 stones maybe like 18 jesus fucking gra- whoa so i would wrestle what everyone. girls were 18 stone there's you know, warriors americans <laughs> 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 Things, Jesus. Yeah, and then she would wrestle everyone one sixty and below. Yeah, and we've we would beat teams, just the two of us going Je- right after each other. Back Jesus and forth. Christ! Oh, no. And I hate that I'm such a man. I'm like, we need to wrestle. Oh, I, well, know you're I big- punched you in the face yesterday. So you, you did. You did. Not you on purpose. Bitch. I felt really I, bad. Everyone has punched me in the face. At least it's my fault. I initiate fights with people, you and then initiate. they hit. They hit me. Yeah. But I, I am in my head being like, I want to wrestle, and you'd kick my fucking. But I'm like, I kind of want to wrestle. Okay, arm wrestle. I eat, arm wrestling when he's not fair because I can't lose. Right. This arm won't go down. So when I'm <laughs> drunk and someone's like a big beefy guy, <laughs> I do challenge them the arm wrestles, but don't tell them that. And they're like, so they're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, do you concede? It's ah, man. <laughs> because <laughs> I'll, I'll just let them get tired and then I just do that. I can't lose. That's amazing. I would set you up in the fight. We're like, I think three, two, one, wrestle. Right, okay, we need to stop for a boner. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Did he get blood time and arm wrestling for Did boners? Arm wrestling? <laughs> um, no, well, it's not really okay. a, it's not really a sport. Okay, well, it's the closest we can get. Okay, it's about as much as a sport as dog is. This arm, the sun doesn't go up. So, oh, sorry. The advantage I have for arm wrestling, not for thumb wrestling. Oh. Your hands are so warm. I know. I'm fucking. I'm sweating today. I'm very angry today. <laughs> Just had an hour and a half dealing with a dementia patient's fucking laptop. Ugh. So frustrating. Technology. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Has anybody's uh, grandparents got very um, conspiracy driven? Mine's, mine has started, but like I, I was telling you off camera, my granddad's, every time he loses his car keys or he does something wrong, he, he just tells you they did it. Yeah. He's like, they, they've moved them again. They've, I'm like, Grand Award was my steak. They ate it. They demented us. So there's some organization. He's either losing his mind or there's some organization that's really coordinated going out of my way to fuck up my grandma's day. <laughs> and I feel really bad if we were just being like, God, his mind's away. Oof. And there's just wee guys in cloaks just moving Aww. the slippers. That's... What about you? Is your mother dad conspiracy? But dad has went a wee bit conspiratorial. Mm. You no. Know? Like, um, went? He's, You're not striking no, the guy he, that always was? Well, always skeptical, but yeah. Nye just is on Facebook too much. <laughs> and you're just like, and it, it's, see, as soon as they start calling it the Facebook, <laughs> that's when, you know, like, he's like, I saw something on the Facebook the yeah. other day. And they're like, oh, daddy, don't want to hear about vaccines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. I got enough of that over the pandemic. I just can't be always listening to people. No way they're bringing in the age limit for social media. Yeah. Which like, it's got to be like 13 or whatever. I saw that. I think it should be I older. Think I think it's 15. Is I, it? It should be 16, I think. I have too but many. I'm hardly going to stop. It, it was 18. It used to be like when you signed up to yeah. Facebook. You could, and you would have to lie. You would yeah. have to, to have lie. To, yeah. Or like people. Whatever. Yeah. So like, but obviously never I think, stopped anyone. I think there needs to be age limit. Like no, it could be very easy to be like you have to show ID or they have facial oh, right, recognition. Right. There's you know what I mean? I'd so, be like trying to sign up for one of those scooter things. Yeah, you know, you know. Oh, like, I thought you meant the band. Oh, you know, the Siberia. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't get a vaccine. <laughs> we don't know what's in them. They bring the election. <laughs> <laughs> Obama was white. Did did it it did did it it. Actual conspiracy. Someone told me once. Oh, this, so think about Obama. Is he's white? What? No, but my grandma. She wouldn't be into conspiracy, but she 
voted for Trump, which I feel like is a conspiracy. Your grandma? My grandma. Abuela. Your abuela? Your Mexican grandma? She's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Same. Fucking. No, no, it's different. You've, call, you've called me Irish a lot of times. You're fucking Mexican. I've never called, I've never <laughs> called you Irish. So many times you're Mexican to me. <laughs> no. Fucking. No conspiracy theories, but she she is getting wider. But my grandma's hot, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mental sentence. I know. My grandma's hot, so she it's is. fine. She why did she vote for Trump as a Puerto Rican? Because she's a small business owner. Oh, so she was like, I don't give a fuck about the wall. And she wants the money. Give me the tax incentives. But also, she's very assimilated to American culture. Right, okay. Is she one of those like immigrants who com- also complains about newer immigrants? My grandma will be on the phone with like, you know, getting help on something and they're Indian. And she in her Puerto Rican accent. <laughs> Can you put someone that I can understand, please? <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak to an American. And I'm like, what? And it's this poor Indian man on the other side. And she's like slagging him off for his accent. And she's like, I don't understand why I have to be on another country to talk to my country. And I'm like, oh. like what the hell are you doing? That's fantastic. It's terrible. <laughs> That's a, that's a bit there. You have to <laughs> yeah, do, a bit. do that on stage. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> My grandma is. I also so forget you're part Puerto Rican, so when you do that, I, I love that accent. Oh, yeah. No, that's exactly how she sounds. Yeah. Like, to a T. Yeah. What, so what is your, you've explained to me, like, your family tree before. What is your heritage? So my mom's Puerto Rican and my dad's Bermudan. Okay. Which is how I'm getting into this country. Ah, through yeah. the triangle. Very good. Yes. What is British. Bermudan. Uh, it's like Islander people, but mm. they're where they used to be owned by the British. So I have British heritage. American like heritage and and their like family history is always so interesting. And ours is like two streets. Yeah. Ours like uh, my dad was from East and my mom was from Lower East. <laughs> And it caused tension when they started going out together. It's just perpetual cousin bucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Throughout the centuries. If you told me you were warming up for them tonight in the Empire, I'd be Cousin like, bucking? Perpetual cousin bucking. <laughs> <laughs> perpetual yeah. But it is, yeah, it's it's That's this, right, yeah. like, all of us are kind of half related, which mm. is why we look like fucking trolls in this country. Everyone in this country gets annoyed when I'm like, we're ugly here. There's a few hotties. A few. There's There's a few. There's a few, and they always have like a grandma who's Lithuanian. <laughs> no one with it with the Irish British blood is smoking. Do you know what I mean? And it has to have a, a different ingredient in there. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who's like, oh, I'm a trace back my family. It's all Scottish and Irish. They're all my height. They're all they're me. <laughs> they're they're just meh. <laughs> like that. There, I look like every man from East Belfast ever. I have her. That's the only difference. Whereas yours is interesting. So Bermudan. They're blacks. I'm po- <laughs> They're black British people. <laughs> Is that They're what you're asking? They're blacks. <laughs> Is it in, in near America, Bermuda, though, or? No. Bermuda's out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Like, that's... Like, have, you, have you visited? No. No? Like, I never probably remember. don't, because, like, people go missing. Yeah. It's the Bermuda Triangle, the whole... Oh, man, that's just got a sad seal. <laughs> you can fly to it, like... <laughs> We will reach our destination <laughs> yeah, in two yeah, to yeah. three months, <laughs> depending on the time. A point to draw, and you get a boner, and you're like blood brick. <laughs> Do you think that's real, though? Bermuda Triangle stuff, like the whole like, oh, the plane was going and it just disappeared. I thought it this. I don't know. I it's one be, of the ones that I do. I might be about in. to sound very stupid. I thought it was something to do with the magnetism. Mm. Around the bur- that around actually Bermuda. Sounds like I, I think there, there might be. Maybe like that's where Diddy is. Did Diddy went to the Bermuda Triangle? Bermuda Triangle. That's that, that's where no one can get there. <laughs> no one comes back. That's where, where who is? Diddy. Diddy. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> this is the. Thing. I love like Northern Ireland because we're so out of whack with the rest of pop culture. So a lot of like our Butler was talking about Diddy last night on stage, and everyone yeah. was like, "I don't know what's going what's on. What's going on?" We're like, "This is everywhere. This is all anyone's talking about." Yeah. But, it's my whole yeah. If it, if it didn't happen in the Devonish, we don't know about it. Like, <laughs> one guy gets his dick out at a strip show and the country shuts down. Most things that happen here do happen in the Devonish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the Devonish. It's a good place. I told jokes there two weeks ago, and I think it's one of my best gigs I ever had. Was that for the St. Paddy's Day one? Mm-hmm. Was it you, Tommy? Um, 
Party. Party. And a guy near, a guy from the south, Will White. Will White. Will White. Yeah. Yeah. I've never met Will, but he's a funny guy. Like very funny. Party's very good. good friends with him, I think. Um, so you've never been to Bermuda? Did you live in Puerto Rico? No, but I would go there very often. My mom was born there. My all, my all my family was born there, but I was the first one born in America until this became American territory. But okay, yeah. Where you? Where did you? Where were you born? In? South Carolina. Oh, you're is that South America? Middle America? I don't know my American. So states. it's East Coast. So you have the Carolinas: North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and then Florida. So is it, two states above Florida. What I'm trying to ask is like, do they still see the Confederate flag? Is like, oh, this is yeah. fine. <laughs> this yeah, is no, yeah. completely fine. all right. South Carolina's the South. Yeah, they, right. They, they, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like general lead at Northern Rome. They're still lynching. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, they are? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Holy shit. Fuck. Like it's, it's, yeah. Fucking, so what's it like growing up somewhere like there where they're quite racist? I don't know anything and you're else in until I moved here. Like I didn't know anything else. Right, okay. So it wasn't weird for me. Like, it's just like, ah, oh, sometimes the whites like it, sometimes they don't. Oh, really? You just had to guess on... Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate enough that my mom always taught me. She was like, not every white person's against you. Mm. Just get to know people, see how they treat you and other people. Okay. And left at that. But um, I don't know. I don't trust anyone who's not a little bit racist. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to love me just, so... <laughs> <laughs> when are you going home? <laughs> oh, you, so you, anyone who's like, I don't see color, you're like, you do? I'm like, you do, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. You got a little scared when I walked past you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. You should have stayed chomping. You should have Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Fuck it. Yeah, because it... I mean, we like to equate it to what we have here. It's not yeah. really the same. Like the Protestants and Catholic thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about that quite a lot. Yeah. In this country. But I learned about this country watching everyone's sets. Like going <laughs> and watching sets. And I was like, what is a Protestant? What, is a Catholic? what are they on about? And then that's how I learned about the country. I'll be honest. I learned about this country from doing comedy because <laughs> I only ever grew up in East Belfast. Yeah. And then you come into comedy and th- there's not a lot of Protestants doing it. There's maybe three. Yeah. So I no sense of humor. Just, I kind mm. of agree with you, um, <laughs> and they hit me, so it's, I can I can agree with it. I, I, I think it's um, Protestants are traditionally not artsy. Do you know what I mean? Mm. We, we don't follow. We we don't get into the arts as much. They're like Republicans. R- Republicans, you know, they're full of songs and poems, and then gays. No, wait, no, like American Republicans. Oh yes, would be Protestants. Pretty much traditionally, I actually think you're right. There, Irish yeah. would be Democrats. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to call like an orange man a Republican. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're going into the dangerous, dangerous territory. territory here. Yeah, but I, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, you, know you, I mean? you are right about that. Um, so yeah, the way they wouldn't really traditionally follow, like, being artsy, get learning an instrument, learning how to like do a traditional dance. We don't do that. We we'll play a few instruments. You can pick three. <laughs> you can get a drum. A big drum, you get a flute, or if you're a fancy cunt, you get an accordion. <laughs> or, a, like, you get the tortilla. Yeah, if you can't play anything, you get a big stick. What do you got? Um, I got to walk. I couldn't play. I can't play uh, anything. Uh, I am so... I've tried to play guitar. I'm so shit at it. Because my, like, my body won't react when my brain's telling it to. I just can't get a rhythm going. It's very annoying. Yeah. He was learning guitar, I think, just before he got his finger bit off. Oh, cruel world. And then, like, and then he tried to keep going afterwards. And I was just like, give it up. You can get a thing now and get, like, a wee top extension. Yeah, a wee, ex- a wee finger extension. <laughs> which sounds like what your physics teacher was offering, a wee finger extension. <laughs> There's also a thing I need to, I want to get. It's like, it almost looks like a Guitar Hero oh, keypad. Yeah. And it plays the chords. And it plays the it's chords. It's just you play, like, hold down one button. Yeah. Yeah. And I've saw people going about that. It's like, that's not real guitar. And it's like, <laughs> it's for people who are like handicapped. It's not, it's not for you. Yeah. going for your fucking no gigs. Yeah. Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. No no one's playing through the flames and fire with you, Joshua. Relax. That's yours. If, if Willie wants to play fucking Wonderwall in the house on his own. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what's fine. It's so I can learn Oasis songs because it's all chords. That's yeah. all I want. I went, yeah. I went to one of his gigs accidentally. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What one? I was playing on the Empire. And uh, and Naaman's were at a Me show. and Bruno went to see Troy Bond. 
He's a comedian, American. Um, I think I know him. Yeah. Curtains. Yeah, was he good? He was good. He was great. Yeah. It was nice because he was American, and I, I was tracking, and then I had to explain to Bruno. Who was the warm up for that? I saw someone. It was a guy playing. Um... Guitar. Was he good? He does the cartoons and stuff. It online. was like a funny one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the Royal oh, Witch guy? Yeah, um, I like those. I uh, his real name's Polly. P-Mag. Oh, do you know him? P Mag. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Royal Witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen those ones. They're funny. Yeah. Paddy used to be like a fucking cracking skateboarder. Oh, really? Yeah, like he was like one of like the fucking... When we used to be like teenagers hanging about the town, he was like, you know, in his early 20s or something. And he was like, I think he might have been signed as a skater. Right. Like, um, He looks like it. Yeah, he does look yeah. like a skateboarder. Um, And I think it was like maybe him and one other person from here was like a signed skateboarder. Fair Fox. And like... Everybody was like fucking in awe of them. Yeah, no, I like those cartoons. Them cartoons are classic. They're They're very funny, man. I like them, yeah. Was he good live? Yeah, well, I was digging it and (laughs) they were... They were just warming up. Yeah. So... Well, warm up is hot. Warm up is probably the hardest thing you can do and stand up. I was... I was was gone. You Oh, you were drunk? I was... Yeah. I've never seen you drunk. And you never will. Why? It just happened. Like, it just happened because I happened to not drive in. Right. And I was like, oh... And I like his, the guy who was singing. What's his name? Matt. Matt was singing, and he was just warming up for and doing like Foo Fighters just to test everything. And I thought it was a concert. <laughs> I was going. <laughs> Bruno were like, what? Yeah. We R.I.P. Taylor Hawkins. <laughs> Some guy just shagging the umps. <laughs> I just turned to Brona at one point and I go, I fucking love Dave Graw. She was like, she's just recording me. And I was, she's like, you know, this isn't like, uh, uh, that's actually, yeah, I've never seen, I haven't, there's a load of comedians I've never seen drunk. Most of them I have, they've all seen me drunk, <laughs> which is annoying. Have I'm, you seen you drunk? You've seen me drunk so many times. Oh, yes. Well, you came drunk to my show. I can't, your show. <laughs> we did like and a. You did the best set ever. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to turn into, like, the Belfast Tom Steve. Yeah. Apparently, I don't remember. Like, everyone was texting me the next day being like, fuck that new stuff you're doing was class. And I was like, I don't remember what I said. Because I'd been in the Welders for a few hours beforehand. And then came straight from the Welders to do yeah. your show. I was, was brilliant. fucking hammered. I don't remember. Also, the New Year's gig I was drunk at. Oh, yes, I remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. I can't remember who I just kept making fun of. Might have, might have been Butler. I just kept winding them up yeah. and he fucking hated it. <laughs> I do that when I'm drunk. I'll pick one person. I'm like, I'm going to piss you off tonight and I will not leave them alone. I'm a, I'm such a dickhead. I'm really nice. As a drunk? Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, hello. And I hug everyone and yeah. I'm like. I think I'm nice, but I know I'm cheeky. Oh. Like I'm not a, not fight, starting fights. I'm cheeky in real life. You are quite cheeky. That's yeah. why we get long great because yeah. we. We slobbered each other and everyone else was like, I know, what's the beef? And we were they, like, are they fighting? Yeah, we were like, no, that's how we talk to each other. That's how black people talk. I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how, I, that's how I talk to everybody. Yeah. And everyone's like, you're a cheeky wee bastard. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't mean it. Yeah, I'm just being playful. If I wasn't your friend, I wouldn't talk to you that way. <laughs> yeah, 100%. You know if I mean? didn't like you, I'd be really polite. Yeah. If I'm really polite to you, I don't like you. I'm just fucking well-mannered. Yeah. I just dance when I'm drunk. I've seen you drunk, yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah. A, you're a wedding. Dance. Is it like essential? Like, what are you, what are you doing? A bit of everything. A little bit of- <laughs> I, I went to hip hop dancing when I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I did. I did. like, <laughs> between the ages of like seven and ten. And, um, and it, it, all, it leaves me in my current state. But as soon as I get a bit of liquor in me, it's yeah. just like. You don't have to watch. <laughs> Are you like me? Like you get a bit of like you know you like your heavy music and then the drink co- comes in the end. You're like, get Destiny's Kim Child Patrick's on. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. I hear Abba. I'm throwing people out oh, of the yeah. way. Yeah. I hear people like Abba's shite. No, they're not. No. You just need See, to be in the mood for them. Who the fuck says Abba's shite in 2024? Kier, that was that, yeah. Kieran Bartlett and Kev oh, Bartlett. Off. What? Fuck they off. can fuck right off, can't yeah. they? Like Abba be Abba equals shit was like. A trend from like the mid nineties to like twenty ten, and then everybody fucking ways. Yeah, see, you're drunk and you hear the opening bars. Is it gimme, gimme, gimme? Where it's like, yes, I love that dancing queen too. Fucking, I love all of it. Remember, it looked like they were gonna reunite for a bit, and it was like that holographic concert. But I was like, fuck, if I would come back, like I'm going. I would go. I'd go to that. Yeah, I was at a wedding. 
I was at a wedding a few months ago in November and I was leaving and then all of a sudden I heard Get Low come on by and I went running back and I ate pavement. That's what... <laughs> but I still made it to the dance floor. Who sings that? Uh, um, the... Little John. The, the... Ying Yang Twins? Ying Yang Twins, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because they also did Whistle While You Twerk. Yeah. It's a great song. Everybody in the club know what's on. <laughs> whistle While You Twerk. He sang it, so it was like, dude. It was like a whistle, but we go like, doot, 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 doot. Don't matter. Can't do it. Uh, but I fucking, I love that song. What's your kind of music taste? I'm Is a, it hip hop? Uh, no, I'm, I'd be quite eclectic. I think I like a lot of like 80s. I like a lot of like 90s. <laughs> like, you're, you're just giving me decades. Okay. Well, you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> no. 90s, 90s pop, like yeah. Backstreet Boys and all that. And then like 80s rock. Yeah. And then I would like like dad rock alternative rock. Yeah, yeah. I like a bit of scream. I like country. Country? Yeah. I like hip hop. And I like, um, I only like jazz music if there's words. Yeah. I don't like if it's just a saxophone. Look for an hour, I can't do it. I can take it for a bit. But yeah. I don't love it. Does the, the words kind of just like... Scab doo doo ba. No. no. <laughs> Bill <Exactly>. Cosby? <laughs> 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 so you said that he's making jazz now. Yeah. All of us collectively fought our can we do our Cosby impression? <laughs> we did. I'm sorry, I'm like, do I have one? <laughs> you put the you put the pill and do the drink and watch it go fizzy pop and then you go sleepy bye. Yeah. <laughs> but he, didn't he try to come back after he got out of jail? I don't know, did he? He was like, Yeah, I'm gonna be putting on tour dates and I was like, You are a full rapist. Oh, we're not coming to see you. I felt so deceived. I hate when you... I feel like every person I've ever liked... Yeah. It seems like the the America dad, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. The only black dad we had other than Uncle Phil. That's right. Yeah. Uncle Phil, a real one. Cause I'm, yeah, because he used to shit on like Eddie Murphy and yeah. younger black comics for swearing and being dirty. He used to, he used to tell them... Like, What's that? You've no fucking leg. This Stop was the point. Everyone was like, you're... It's like the old Norm <laughs> Macdonald bit where someone goes, I think the worst part was the hypocrisy. And he goes, I thought it was the rape. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, Norm God. Macdonald. Yeah, but like, yeah, it was very happy because he, for years, he was the super clean. And too far, he used to do like three, four hour shows. I don't know how. And they were super clean. And they were very like they were good. It's even you know when someone shit and they do something like that and they're like he wasn't even good he was shit. See when they are good it's worse. Makes it worse because you can't even be like he was shit. You're like hey, he wasn't though. He was really 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 fucking good. You know who I wish I could have saw before he died? Bernie Mac. I thought Bernie Mac was really funny. The if you've never seen it, look up Bernie Mac in Def Jam, where the crowd's really rowdy and then he comes out with the DJ mm-hmm. and just fucking murders. Ugh. It's so fucking good. He was a funny man. He was good. And you can tell Steve Harvey hated him. He was brilliant. Hater. You can, yeah, because they used to tour together, but <coughs> you can tell Steve Harvey just fucking was so jealous of how good Bernie Mac was. There's always one. He was fucking brilliant. Who would have been your inspiration? Because you do stand up now. Go see Jazz. She's fucking great. Who would have uh, been your growing up? Oh, I would have loved Bernie Mac. Mm-hmm. I would have loved the likes of Dave Chappelle. Because when I was a teenager, that's when all his, like, Stuff yeah, that's, yeah, that's why show. people still like him. Yeah, from so, then. Like I know he's controversial, but it's not he's controversial. He's just back then. I think he was better. Yeah, I would have liked. Uh, How old is fifteen? Really? I liked Joe Coy. I remember I used to watch him when I was really young. Is that the guy who died in his hole at the Grammys? Yeah, my sister hates him because he slagged off Taylor Swift. <sighs> I mean, but, I'm a Swifty as well. Yeah, I watched the Aristotle. I couldn't help but watch that, and like everyone else, I guess guy shit. And you see when I see a comic die on a big stage, as a comedian, I'm like, oh come on, mate, you can do it. Like I feel so bad for them. The only time I like seeing someone die is a friend of mine who I know is good. Yeah, and they're just having a bad one. Then it's really funny to me. It is. Well, I love when I can get off, and you have that friend that like you you can be like, yeah, I know, everyone, (laughs) I sucked. Yeah, me and you're like like everyone will come and be like, that was great. I'll be like that. You're like, like, I'll be like, I'll be like, nah, I'll be like, fuck it, no. Uh, yeah. Um, what about you? Me, I again, it's uh, I've always said that Louis C.K. is probably my biggest. Yeah, biggest. He's funny. He's fucking great. He was one that after what happened, everyone was like, and he was never funny. And you're like, wrong. No, he was funny. He was pretty. He still is brilliant. Yeah. 
Bill Burr, I'm a big fan of. Kevin Bridges, big fan. I'm not a big British stand-up guy. Peter Kay, when I was really, really young. Mm-hmm. And Michael McIntyre, when I was like 10 or 11. I listened to his audiobook. Who, McIntyre's? Mm-hmm. You, you, reading his book, you get a real respect for him. Yeah. Because he was in serious, serious debt. And his dad had like just killed himself. You get a lot of respect for him after that. Yeah. He um, talks about a lot of the gig life kind of stuff, but I'm like, yeah, I get that. What I like is he was honest about it in the book, where he's like, yes. I would die on my own. Like, I've read Peter Kay's books, and I like Peter Kay, yeah. but he just reads it as like, I did this gig, and was the best, and then did this, <laughs> and I was brilliant, and did this, and I was brilliant. Yeah. Whereas Michael McIntyre will go, I wasn't good, people didn't like me, people would constantly tell me I was shit, they wouldn't, like, he's really honest about it, and you prefer that. That's how you get better. The older I get into, do, like, doing anything artsy as a job, anyone who goes, I was immediately brilliant and <laughs> went straight to the top, you're like, you're a liar. Yeah. Because no one is. No. You can get someone who's better than where they should be. No one's picked up a guitar and been incredible at it immediately. No, sometimes I think about the jokes I used to tell, and I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, fucking same. I hope there's no video. I hope there's no video. <laughs> yeah, my, um, mine are online. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> so what age were you when you moved here? I was 28. Oh, really? What age are you now? 31. Wait, I thought you were younger than me. <sighs> I'm still the baby. Um, <laughs> what, so what made you move here? Uh, literally, I had a random dream that I lived in Ireland and I didn't have any responsibilities and I had money. And I... That's fucking insane. Moved here. I am insane. You, you had a dream and moved here? Literally, like, Martin Luther King went to sleep. <laughs> and I was like, oh, where what? Like, I was like, where is that dream? Ireland. I'm gonna move there. Did you live in Philly beforehand? Yeah, I lived in Philly. I was living there. Yeah, because for... this always blows my mind. You told me who you came up with in Philly. Who you used to gig with a couple uh-huh. times. I wouldn't say I used to gig with him as much as I watched him destroy stages and then I had to go on after. <laughs> yeah. Shane Gillis. I just yeah. wanted to die. Yeah. She, yeah, oh. they came up around the same time. Uh, uh, was you he know, hard to follow? Well, the thing is, like, it's so, he's so good that he can say something that's totally, like, right in such a liberal city and they're a game and it's, that's what's so bizarre. It's yeah. like all these people would hate that if anybody said that out loud. Like, yeah. But they love him. Yeah. I love him. I think he's really funny. That's on how you know someone's really good when they can go somewhere where their beliefs don't align, but they yeah. can still make that funny. Because like, like, you yeah. and Ardoin. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I go to anywhere heavily Republican, I kill. Like, that's my... Anywhere I go with it's really pro, they don't like me. Ugh. Because they're like, you not fucking that pro. But if I go to somewhere like fucking... There's just IRA murals on the wall. I'm like, I'm going to have a good one tonight. That's nice. That's a good feeling. <laughs> it's fun. But was that not intimate? Like, was he always the guy that you were like, he's going to be great? I mean, there's so many comedians in um, Philadelphia. Yeah. So there was, yes, he was amazing, but yeah. there was 10 just like him. Fuck, right. Okay. You know what I mean? So if, like here, like you'll have like. Uh, just a smaller pool yeah versus in america there was there was a hundred on the lower level with me there was a hundred above me a hundred below me and it's like you're so just dis- like dispensable you, right okay so you just have to proper grind grind it's not grind. just philly like it's a tri-state area so like philly's only an hour from new york yeah so you're competing with those comedians as well so if you have 400 comedians in philly yeah you have another maybe thousand in, in new york in new york and then New Jersey wouldn't really have crazy amounts of comedians, but there is like a yeah. something there. Yeah. So. Yeah, because I know Flor was it Florida? No, LA for a time was a real hotspot too. Florida and, and LA. And yeah. COVID kind of fucked it. Yeah. And everyone just moved to Texas, weirdly. Texas is like on the up, especially with this guy's uh, Rogan's thing. Yeah, with the mothership. Yeah. I've, Shane did it, and he was like, it's the best oh, room man, you've ever so seen. cool. And he's like, you can tell, like, it's not made to just make money. Yeah. It's just because Rogan loves it. He doesn't, he's a billionaire. He doesn't need to make money off it. Yeah. But he's like, it pays you fucking ridiculously well. Ugh. And all the rooms are fucking amazing. There's nothing better than a room built for comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not much when you go into a room, it's a big high ceiling. I know. And there's a 14th birthday party on the back of the room. <laughs> oh, they're fucking brutal. <laughs> This, there's always a horror stories I hear about American open mics where yeah. it's like fucking at the back of a Wendy's or something. Yeah. Is there truth to how brutal they can be? 
they are brutal and they are like no games. Like people think Sean Michael Levy runs a tight ship. Literally <laughs> until, until you go to he's totally, like he's he's not strict, but he's just well organized. He's on his money. It's I, hard should be wrong. I respect it. Yeah. Big Daddy Sean. <laughs> yeah. And literally there's this little there's this little club, it's called the Comedy John in like it's in the hood of the hood of the hood. And the room is about as big as this. So yeah. the performer is just standing against the wall. And there's a bar. Like, this would probably be the bar. But they stuff it with people. And if, like, you get three minutes. And if you go a second over, he will come up. Give me the fucking mic. Oh, Jesus Christ. So have your stuff timed. Like, to the dot? To the dot. Holy shit. This is after probably waiting an hour in hopes that you would have a spot. How many people? You go to know Mike, how many people be there? I mean, people start waiting like hours before. Jesus. Hours before. Jesus Christ. And you would, this one like was kind of cool though because they knew and they had, they created a number system where they would just print all these things and once all the numbers were taken, like that was it. Yeah. And then it wasn't even guaranteed that all those numbers went on. Right. It was just a matter of like. Jesus. Yeah. And I imagine the shite that is shite is very shite. Really bad. Bad. Like, there's not that many here where it's like you're mentally unwell. No. Well, it's one thing to be mentally unwell. It's another thing to be mentally well and be bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, it's even someone, when someone's mentally unwell and they're bad, you're like, okay, he doesn't really know. Yeah. When someone's fine in the head, you're like, ah, Jesus. Like, I'm like, who's going to tell him? Yeah. And do you ever miss America being here or do you just love Ireland? I love it. Ireland? Like, I think the only thing I miss about America is there were so many more places to try out new material. Yeah. Versus here, that wouldn't be the case, but you get gigs like crazy here, which is yeah. nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, once you're good, you get booked because there is a small pool. Yeah. So once you like start, once once you busy, once someone who's at books sees that you're good, we'll then spread the word and be like, book them, they're reliable. Well, in, in America, it'd be years before you can even get on before 2 a.m. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. That, yeah. They're like, <clears throat> you have to pay your dues. Yeah. Get on, on, get the respect, yeah. and it. even if like if I move there, wouldn't matter how long I've done it. Back home, I mean, if you know people, it's different. Yeah, but if I went over and went, I've done it ten years. If you don't know anyone, they'll be like, I don't give a fuck. One hundred percent. They yeah. would give you the middle finger. And yeah, they're like, this is real. This is real. Call me now. <laughs> yeah, but fuck man, I've I've always wanted to go to America. I think you would like it. I think I would. I think so. I like anywhere that's warm and not here. Really? Yeah, the cold cold weather depresses me. Oh, I'm the opposite. I have a seasonal depression in summer. What the fuck is wrong with you? I grew up in Florida. It was always sunny. That's Did, nice, though. Difference? Is Florida as mad what about What about Philadelphia, though? Is it always, always sunny, sunny <laughs> in Philadelphia? Oh. Sean's leaving now. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> She's getting shot dead outside. <laughs> is Florida as mad as people say it is? Yes. One hundred percent. Because I know there's the game we can play it now. Like you can look up your birthday with I'm the, Florida man. Yeah, and yeah. something mad comes up. There also, if you look up your birthday and Azalea Banks, you'll see someone she's slobbered about. <laughs> I saw that. Have you seen this? I saw it's fucking. I'll look it up. Now. <laughs> what's the What's the thing? Do you know the rapper Azalea Banks? Yes, but what's the uh, somebody she had beef with? Yeah. So just any name? Oh, your name. <laughs> you look up. Your birthday and Azalea Banks. So I'll look oh, up right, right. September 6th, Azalea Banks. And you will see something mental Azalea Banks has said about someone. Um, <laughs> yeah, I looked up September 6th. Azalea Banks tells Beyonce she is obviously sad. <laughs> What's your birthday, Sean? November 16th. Is it your bank's Twitter account suspended after threats to murder Maria Lynn? <laughs> What's yours, Jess? January 23rd. January 23rd. Azealia Banks launched an angry tirade against Erlingus. <laughs> <laughs> after failing to board a flight to Dublin? It's fucking mental. Because <laughs> she was someone who was so big, and you're like, what happened to her? And then you're like, oh, she just fought with everybody. I know. Erlingus, um, Beyonce, they're all getting it. November 16th, Florida Man. Florida Man claims voices made him rob a dollar store <laughs> twice in two days. 
I gotta look up Florida man September. <laughs> Zero. Uh, Fl- Florida, November 16th, 2023. Florida man arrested after giving unauthorized massage at rehab center. <laughs> Officer said no one's gonna come in. <laughs> September 6th, naked Florida man starts house fire while baking go- cookies on George Foreman Grill. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> January 23rd, uh, North Florida man beat and pepper sprayed mom because she was a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why'd you do that? Shut up, our, up our own hole, didn't you? Beat the fuck out of that girl. Like, Florida's, Florida, like... Why is it so mental? I think it's the heat. I think it's the heat and it's like wearing of the brain. Because I remember the Gators. here when when I was in school, we went on a field trip to Gatorland and the, we get there and they're like, we can't go in yet. And we're like, why? And they're like, well, there was a kid who had his leg bitten off and they had to clean up the mess. And once they cleaned up the mess of the kid getting bit, they let us all in. Not even the park is closed for the day. No. Nope. Sweep up the blood off the child's leg. Did the gator get killed or was it just like, don't, no. don't touch him today? He's still there. He's, he's not, in a mood. He's, oh, he's they've, not changed, they've changed some of their practices. Like when I went there as a kid, they would have thrown live chickens in the air. But then PETA was like, no. So we had to change that. <laughs> Did you ever wrestle? So we used to play this game. You didn't wrestle them, but like yeah. we played this game because we didn't have like internet. We, we, she we, just wrestled a gator. We would go to the park. <laughs> go get that gator. <laughs> Your mom's like, fuck off. Go ahead and wrestle a gator for fuck's sake. Hang around this house all day. We used to have to run, <laughs> touch the gator, and run back. And whoever could do it the, like fastest was the winner. That's what we would do. What? You're saying that like gators can't run after you? You gotta run in a zigzag. Oh, so if you run, would they ever chase you if you touch them? Yeah, sometimes. They like you, you. We were taught as Floridians to run in a zigzag if a gator's coming behind you. Holy <laughs> shit! It's run after and it's going. Ah, fuck! That's constant tricky. It's because they can't see. Yeah. So well, they're like, where the um, fuck? Oh, where the fuck? Um, I like living here because I can go canoe and do all that stuff and not have gators next to me. Because yeah. I used to just hold my paddle and wait for them to pass. It was fucking scary. hell. Is that fucking man? There's that. There's water moccasins, like snakes on top of the water. Whoa. Yeah. We used to um, attempt to do what we thought was cow tipping <laughs> uh, when we went. Where's the story one? <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, me. <laughs> when, when we went to uh, shag um, the cow tipping it. <laughs> <laughs> it was when we went to Corn Lock, um, and like I was hanging about at the site, and like a lot of my mates came over and were like. We're going cow tipping the night, like meet us over at the field <laughs> at eight o'clock or something, right? And usually I wouldn't have been allowed like out that late and then because it was it was like when I was like eight or something or nine, right? And um but it was only me and my dad down in the caravan. So I was just like, Daddy, I'm away and he's like, Right, sweet, I'm out at bar. Like, so, <laughs> <laughs> so like trauma dump. I, I, I went over to the the fucking the oh, wait, field. I you should, should I bring you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I went out to the field and my man just bought me this like brown new like all white fucking tracksuit. <laughs> and um so you're going out dressed like he's 17 to tip some cows. <laughs> I was like vanilla ace. <laughs> What's up, my bitches? They got to some cows out here. They're looking real juicy. Straight from a hip hop class. K fed out here. K fed out here are tipping cows. And uh, (laughs) I turn up to the field and they're like, what the fuck are you wearing? uh, Anyway, we go into the fucking uh, field and um, it was my mate uh, went first. Like, we've encouraged him to do it first because he's the oldest. He went over and he tried to like fucking push the cow, but the thing's like furry stone, you know what I mean? <laughs> and lying down already. Like, what the fuck's he doing then? So he's, trying to, he's, trying to, he's like, it's not fucking moving. And it was just like, the cow was just looking at him like, yeah. what's going on here? <laughs> and uh, then um, and my mate Jordan went to go and do it and pushed it like the next one lane because it was like, it wasn't fully like sitting down. And as soon as he like laid hand on it, stood up. <gasps> <laughs> like, so, we just, it just got him on. 
them. Yeah. And like all of them stood up and they all started coming towards us and we were like, Shit! <laughs> so we like made a beeline like fucking out of the field and we were sprinting and we were we got ages away from them like so that we had well like outran them but we were still running because we were just shitting ourselves and um but we couldn't see like my mate had like a fucking torch on his Nokia 3310 mm. <laughs> so like shining to try and see where we were going and I just like ran in this fucking big pile of muck <gasps> And slid, went up in the air and landed in a big pile of manure. Oh! Big, in the white track. In the white track. So it, like, head to toe in, like, wet shit. Oh! Uh. And, um, and I had to dander home to the side. Go home, your dad's the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Can you're in a car shake? he's like, aye, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> and, um, he just was like, he just says, right, if you don't tell your ma, I won't. <laughs> He's like, and, and it's sweet, it's all good. Because I just went home and confessed yeah. straight away. <laughs> I was telling Paddy come home covered in shit and be like, this is how it looked. He did also get covered in shit down in Carnock one time. Oh, really? I can't remember the story, but I remember being told it. Like, I remember one time my ma bought me a brand new Lacoste tracksuit. When Lacoste was the shit for smacked out children. Because, yeah. <laughs> hang on, those days. <coughs> for, some, for some reason, like, unreal tracksuits are so dear. And that's all that smacks were. Yeah. <laughs> but she was like, don't get this there. It was black. It was fucking, had like we silver metal bits on the zips. Yeah. It was all in the shapes of a gator. Mm. It was class. And she was on. <laughs> she was like, don't, don't get that messy. You're in trouble if you get messy. I went out to play and one of my mates threw a bucket of paint over me. And then I, I came home and my mum was like, I told you not to get it stinking. I was like, I didn't ask him to do that. I didn't be like, fuck that paint over me play. I got grounded for like two weeks. <sighs> Fucking raging. I don't even know where he got the paint. What was he just showed up with a bucket of paint, fucked it over me and left. Oh, I'd be pissed. <laughs> What what was getting grounded like for you? Like, what did that entail? Sit in your room with all your toys, but you're not allowed to play with them, which is even worse. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you have to sit in your room. You can't do anything. Sometimes just sit on the stairs for a couple of hours. That's what grounding was. For, what was it for you? Um, Literally, I couldn't have anything. Couldn't go, any, couldn't go outside. And sometimes... So, like, I had gotten grounded once for forging my mom's signature. Right. And the next week I did it again because I'm you know, bad. <laughs> I didn't learn nothing, bitch. Yeah. And then she started giving me bread and water and I learned really quick. Yeah, my mom did have bread and water. Oh, they're like bread and water. And then my dad would get stoned and offer me a Chinese little night. <laughs> <laughs> my dad forget I'm grounded. be like, you fuck, I want some salt and chili, right? <laughs> what was grounding for you? It's after my mom would have bit my mom would have yeah, bit my bollocks. Yeah. yeah, you get your ass beat. Yeah, yeah I got I got big <laughs> yeah. initial punishments and then it was quite lenient after that. Like yeah. I would not be not allowed to go out for a day, but I'd still be allowed to play a PlayStation and stuff. What? But, you spoiled little yeah. what? But the initial punishment was fucking horrendous. Like we had this um like dark room in our garage. <laughs> The boy will live there from now on. <laughs> and they used to just like throw me into this yeah. dark room, this dark cold room out in the garage and just like put a padlock on and just be like, you're staying what? there for a bit and yeah. leave me screaming. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 for like, yeah. uh, but like for like five, ten minutes. Yeah. And then, and then it let me out. And also, <laughs> they, would, they would say, right, you're going to the, you're going to the home. And I'd be like, ah, ah. yes, the and whole. They would pull me out of the house and throw me in the back of the car, and then they would drive me up to like the fucking. It would be like a juvenile fucking yeah. like the like ones place, and they would just like then take me out of the car, throw me out of the car, and then like lock the doors and drive down the lane. Yeah, my parents did. I just be like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was after my mom's beating the bollocks out of me with whatever's in her hand. Yes, yeah, whatever's closest. Yeah. I also got left behind in Disneyland for like 10 minutes, but they just, they just watched me like, from across the way because I was really misbehaving in Disneyland. <laughs> and they just were like, right, okay, we're leaving you here. Bye. And then, oh, no. <laughs> I'm stuck in Disneyland now. <laughs> oh, dear. 
<laughs> but I freaked out. But they were just like they left me at one side of like a plaza, and then just like walked to the other side and just like clapped, kept it close to me, and I just sat on the fence and cried for like ten minutes. <laughs> oh my God. See, I was so oblivious as a child; I wouldn't notice they're not there. My parents one once bought me a dog that I didn't ask for because I don't like dogs. It was a Jack Russell. Called him Jack. I was very imaginative of a child. <laughs> And they gave him away, and I didn't realize till like three months later. <coughs> I came in, I went, Where's my dog? And they were like, We gave him away months ago. I was like, uh, didn't, He ate all my toys. I didn't want them, and he ate all my shit. I hated that dog. Hated him. I didn't get in a lot of trouble. I was, I was pretty much a rule follower, but I would end up, I was really naive. Like, I, was, yeah. I got kidnapped one day, but I was brought back the same day. How annoying are you? Listen, listen, I think that's where all, like, half my therapy is, like, why did he bring me back? <laughs> What's wrong with me? How did you get kidnapped, inadvertently? We were, I was at a park, there was a park we would walk, because there was latchkey kids, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're just outside, so we would go, and I was on my neighbor's bike, not even my bike, okay. and he offered to put air in it. Right. And I was like, sure, and he's like, okay, well, come on, he took my car, I took my bike, put it in his car, took me to his house, and he's like, do you want to stay here? And I think I was too keen. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I was like, yeah. So we didn't go take a big shot. <laughs> like, yeah, it's my first thing. Yeah, and then after like an hour, he was just like, I think maybe maybe you should go back. And he's like, do you know where you live? And I'm like, no. And he's like, okay, I'm going to take you back to the park and you can just get home from there. And that was it. <laughs> so. who, was, who was this mom? Like, so it's like the worst pedo ever. <laughs> yeah. I know. He did, uh, he did end up kidnapping my neighbor. And it, like, was on the news and all. Jesus. So jealous. Did he keep her? So jealous. <laughs> and, like, she was a little prettier than me, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm pretty. I could get murdered. I'm pretty. I know the truth. What I love to keep her for? He kept her for, I think it was three days. Slut. And then he got caught. So. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you think you were just a practice run for him? I mean, he probably figured, like... If we roll together, then we're probably just as stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did you help with the investigation at all, or did you be like, no, nah, she can get out no, of it? No, I don't think they asked. Like, I think the only thing they came over and asked if I had seen her. I was like, I haven't seen her. And that was it. <laughs> I haven't seen that ugly bitch. I don't know <laughs> where like, she is. It was like her bike's in the back. <laughs> like, that's yeah. The it. it doesn't have standards, this kidnapper. It just kidnaps everyone, I say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that I was special. I was always told you would get kidnapped, but yeah. never got kidnapped. Kidnapped. Like your mum dad always be like, don't a mom will take you. No one's taking me. I was the most annoying child in the world. Were you? Oh, I was so loud. I yeah. and I was very aggressive as a child. Very I got expelled from nursery. Like I was <laughs> so aggr- aggressive toddler? Yeah, yeah. If someone wouldn't be my friend, I'd beat the fuck out of them. Like I'm like, let's play a game. They're like, no, and I'm like, fucking play with me. <laughs> I, I got I got expelled after I threw a, a shirt and hit a teacher in the face. What? Yeah, yeah, I have anger problems. Oh, I had come now. I was an angry kid too. Were you an angry kid? Were you? Really? We used to have like a, a Sean meter when I was in school. Like, and it like it was like whenever my tempers were getting big, like yeah. there was like a meter on the wall, and the teacher would go over and be like. Yeah. <laughs> so like turn the meter up and yeah. then like I would have to like calm down or else I'd start throwing things <laughs> you're like you're like the nuclear clock <laughs> you're like <laughs> two minutes to midnight Sean's about to start fucking throwing things oh he's getting thrown in the padlock room <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't <laughs> what I used to do as a kid and teachers didn't know how to deal with this when they punished me for something it's like you have to go sit over there yeah. I'd sit and just slam my head off oh. the desk like real, I would just sit and like not even like sort of bang it, slam my fucking face into the desk. This is why people shit. I don't and, and then, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my face would just come out lumps and stuff. And he's just like, we aren't touching him. He just like you take his favorite book off him and he just starts slamming his face into shit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happens to Biff, Chip, and Kipper. <laughs> They're stuck in the castle. <laughs> I used to lose my fucking shit all the time. I also, if someone else had upset me, I challenged them to a fight. And before we'd fight, I'd do the Undertaker pose. <laughs> so I'd, sta- I'd stand across them in the classroom and go like, <coughs> and then like do my eyes to the back of the head. And I got them all. And everyone's like, what the f-? 
and then they used to just wind me up because they're like, wait and see what this kid does where he's pissed off. And then I'd be sitting there going, <laughs> <laughs> they'd like take me, you can't know, I'd be in the corner, I'd be like, Ehh. oh, oh God. God. Yeah. fucking freak. What time are we on there, Sean? <laughs> yeah, we're sort of. We all good. Uh, Jazz, thank you for coming on. Have you anything to plug while you're here? Yes. April 7th, I'm doing another fundraiser for my passport at very the good. American Bar. Ah, oh, very nice, very yes. nice. So get tickets. Do you know who's on that? Yeah, it's me, Dan Leith, and Rose Coogan. Love very Dan good. Leith. Oh, Dan's great. He's, I really like Dan. Rose great, too. Yes. Yep, great acts. I'll show up hammered again. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Let me tell I'll you. I'll record your set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, my tour is on sale now Waterfront Hall Millennium Forum Daily's Noma The Bank in Newry Riverside Theatre in Cold Rain I'm in other places uh, Sugar Club in Dublin come see that uh, check out the Mudblood Patreon you-, you know all the usual stuff thank you very much and see you next week <laughs>